Greetings, denizens in the digital world. It is I, the Serial Killer, coming to you here on day 28 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And yes, I don't know what the and yes is for. Go figure. Uh, sporting short hair and soon to get rid of the beard because tomorrow I'm back to work for two days. And then I got seven days off. Seven days of working out and getting back in shape. Well, in better shape, because I'm still kind of in shape. Round-ish. Uh, yeah, so scale continues to be slightly unreliable in that it told me I gained a kilo overnight. So I know water weight balances things, but a kilogram overnight, yeah, okay. That's a lot of weight to gain in one night. We'll see. I don't know. It might be that it's just normal and I'm not paying attention to shit enough. So today, uh, just at random, I, uh, I poked onto CNN and I started bouncing around as I do every once in a while because I like to pretend I keep informed. But I saw a weird little article linked um, that uh, caught my attention. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the issue was um, an unmanned aerial vehicle that was uh, captured by Iran uh, last year. Um, I don't know if any of you pay attention to UAV news. I specifically seek it out from time to time because I've been interested in UAVs forever. Uh, their future warfare technology, their now warfare technology that people just don't seem to pay attention to that often. And that, Well, hell, um, over the the course of the last year of the Bush administration and through this administration, there's been a massive ramp up in the number of um, UAV strikes against suspected terrorist targets or militant targets around the Middle East, and uh, they've become the chief tool for patrolling the, the borders of uh, the United States and Mexico. Uh, they're used for weather monitoring. They're used for any number of things around. Right now, you look up, you could, you wouldn't see it, but it may be out there surveying. You never know. And this isn't some paranoid, creepy thing. I, I just, I find the technology fascinating. I'm not worried about it. I'm, damn, I wish I was a UAV pilot, is really what it comes down to. And they're they represent a fascinating technology that apparently can be tricked very easily into doing some very dumb things. Because it wasn't that the Iranians shot this thing down. It wasn't that they, you know, pulled any fancy trick to... Well, they pulled a trick, but it wasn't any fancy high-tech cracking codes trick to catch this thing. Apparently all they did was put up some interference in the air, which, you know, they put up electronic interference, which causes the, the drone to go on autopilot instead of being controlled because it can't be controlled anymore. So the operator would be like, well, what the hell, I lost control. Okay, that, there's fail safes for that. The autopilot, except they spoofed the, uh, and spoofing is a fancy term for replacing things, they, 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 they spoofed the feed for the GPS. They gave it a false GPS signal and told it that, um, well, it, it defaulted to going back to this, to a, a base in Kandahar, and they gave it a, a set of coordinates that weren't actually the base in Kandahar. They were a nice little precise place in Iran where they were standing there waiting for it. And as soon as it landed and shut itself down, well, they took control of it. Yeah, vulnerabilities that are just, you know, in a technology so advanced, crazy to know that are there. And uh, apparently there's a piece of software you could get for $26 online, not, not that does this, but it used to allow you to tap into the feed from a UAV if you knew it was there. Now, hell, I'm not going to know one's there anyway, but I don't know how the hell it worked, uh, how you know it's there, but once you know it's there... 26 bucks tap into with a feed of a sophisticated multi-million dollar piece of technology? Yikes. And it's reminiscent of the 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 old reports that uh, the old older generation of stealth planes could be detected by a cell phone. It's no matter what what you do to to safeguard these technologies, there's going to be some schmuck out there, some somebody, well not schmuck I guess, but somebody who's determined enough that has no money necessarily, but has some know how and figures out a way to find your shit. It's uh. It's crazy. It's fascinating. It's strange, and um, I'll link the article down below. It's not actually a. It's not a. 
CNN article. It's uh, an IT news article linked through CNN, so I'll link that one up. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, display stays and nights again. Tomorrow I'm going on a, mid, a midnight watch, so I did a little nap so I can stay up a little late today and sleep through part of tomorrow and actually sleep closer to my watch. It's what I do. It, it allows me to align my sleep properly. What the hell was with that voice? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not normal sometimes. I'm not normal most times. Hell, I'm really crazy. Eh, whatever. There's only like two of you going to watch this anyway. Um, so, yeah. Iran steals a drone. And uh, apparently the source was an Iranian dude. Uh, an engineer who was part of the team. So it's a spurious source, but it's possible. And crazy. And yeah. Anyway. As usual, I've been the Serial Killer. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, or death threats, you know where to put them. Put them in the comments section below.